There was this king sitting in his garden all alone, when his brother in his ear poured a little bit of poison, stole his brother's crown and his money and his widow. But the dead king walked and got his son and said, Hey, listen, kiddo, I've been killed and it's your duty to take revenge on Claudius. Kill him quick and clean and tell the people what a fraud he is. Well, the kid says, right, I'll do it, but I'll have to do it crafty. So no one will suspect me, I'll let on that I'm a dafty. So to all except Horatio, he counts him as a friend. Hamlet, that's the kid, he lets on he's round the bend, and because he isn't ready for obligatory killing, he tries to make the king believe he's tuppence off the shilling. Takes a rise out of Polonius, treats poor Ophelia vile, tells Rosencrantz and Guildenstern Denmark's a bleeding jail. Then a travelling group of actors just like Theatre 784 arrive to do a special one-night gig in Elsinore. Hamlet, Hamlet, act in balmy. Hamlet, Hamlet, loves his mummy. Hamlet, Hamlet, hesitating, thinks the ghost might be a fraud, and that is why he's waiting. So Hamlet writes a scene for the players to enact, while Horatio and him watch to see if Claudius cracked. The play was called The Mousetrap, not the one that's running now. And sure enough, the king runs out before the final bow. So Hamlet's got the proof that Claudius gave his dad the dose. The only trouble being that Claudius knows he knows. So while Hamlet tells his mother her new husband's not a fit man, Uncle Claude takes out a contract with the English king as hitman. So when Hamlet kills Polonius, the concealed corpus delicti, Gives the king an excuse to send him for an English hempen necktie. With the Rosencrantz and Guildenstern to make quite sure he gets there. But Hamlet jumps the ship and puts the finger right on that pair. When Laertes hears his dad has been stabbed right through the arras. Ooh, he rushes back to Elsinore, tout sweet, hot foot from Paris. And Ophelia with her dad killed by the man she's supposed to marry. After saying it with flowers, she committed Harry Carry. Hamlet, Hamlet, there's no messing. Hamlet, Hamlet, learned his lesson. Hamlet, Hamlet, Yorick's crust. I knew him, Horatio. Convinced him that men, good or bad, at last must turn to dust. Well, it is lost his cool and is demanding retribution. The king says, keep your head, lad, I'll provide you a solution. He lays on a sword fight with the interested parties, with a blunted sword for Hamlet and a sharp sword for Laertes. To make assurance double sure. <clears throat> That's a line from a different play. The old belt and braces line. He fixes a poison sword tip and a poison cup of wine. Well, the poison sword gets Hamlet. But Laertes goes and muffs it. Because he gets stabbed himself and he confessed before he snuffs it. Then Hamlet's mummy drinks the wine, and as her face turns blue, Hamlet says, I believe the king's a baddie through and through. The incestuous, murderous, damned Dane, he says to be precise, and makes up for hesitating once by killing Claudius twice, because he stabs him with the sword and pours the wine between his lips, then says, The rest is silence. Which means Hamlet's got his chips. They fire a volley over him that shakes the highest rafters, then fought in brass, knee-deep in Danes, 
lives happy ever after. Hamlet, Hamlet, very gory. Hamlet, Hamlet, end of story. Hamlet, Hamlet, I'm on my way. If you think that was confusing, you should see the bloody play.